Hey, hello everybody. Oh, my hair's messed up a little bit. Uh, how you doing? <laughs> We've got Savannah Ray Bell here hey. at Savannah Hair, at Savannah Ray Hair. Yes. And that's your Instagram handle. Mm -hmm. And you've been doing that for a little while, huh? Yeah, I've had my Instagram actually since 2011, I think. Oh, wow. So mm -hmm. th how, things changed. I mean, I know they have changed. Everybody says they've changed. The algorithms, everything. It's harder to get people. What, what's going on? On Instagram? Oh, yeah. for sure. Since from the beginning. The beginning it was way more simple. No ads, nothing technical like that. You couldn't connect it to your Facebook or anything like that. But um, I mean, I would like to say now it's amazing for us hairstylists advertising our work and oh, stuff. Oh yeah, absolutely. Um, I, would pro I would probably say 70% of my clientele has found me off of Instagram. Yeah. Well now, how old are you? I mean, I'm, if it's okay to ask. Of you. course, I'm 24. You're 24, okay. Mm -hmm. So how long have you been doing hair? Um, I've had my license since I was 17 and a half. Wow. I got it right before my 18th birthday, which was pretty cool. Um, I got to do the ROP program my senior year of high school. That's awesome. My mom's a hairstylist, so yeah. Runs in the blood, so she knew, might That's as well really cool. get an early start, right? So you knew kind of when you were younger that you wanted to be a hairdresser? I knew, yeah, I knew since I was like seven. I've been putting my mom's hair color on since I was probably like nine. Wow. Yeah. And then how did you get into Instagram? I mean, were you always into it when it first came out, or how did that happen? Um, at the time, I was dating a guy in a band, and Instagram was big for music, right. so I used it for music and then thought, why not advertise my hair that way also? That's right. That's right. Now, would you say that most, I know you know, you do a lot of creative stuff. I noticed lately you've been doing a lot more like blondes and blends and yeah. melds, and That's all those are bigger money makers too, <laughs> yeah. yeah. Now, a lot of people were just doing all rainbow hair for so long, and some of them still do that. What, what do you think about that? Um, I wanted, like in my mind, that was what I wanted to focus on um, before I, I made my transition in salons actually. And honestly, right before I started working with Formula 18. Okay. Um, I thought that that would be a better target in making money just because of this day and age, the vivid colors are so popular. All the bright colors is what everyone's posting on sure. Instagram, all of that. So you think, okay, that's where money's at. But then you find out yes. the people pay this money for their hair, it costs them $300 plus. Right. They don't want to pay that again in six weeks to get it redone. And the so, time that it takes you is a lot. Yeah, well, that. I'm fast, so no. Okay. That's all never right, been a problem. Right, That's right, never right. been a problem for me. But um, but it's definitely a lacquer in money making. Yeah. Um, I'm definitely making a lot more money doing blondes, and because it's addictive, and every blonde wants to be blonder. So, <laughs> what is, that, is is everything okay? Are we okay on technical difficulties over there? We're okay. Okay, because I heard some kind of. Somebody talking over there. I didn't know what that was. Oh, uh, scared is me. Okay. Yeah, no, but I've noticed that you know you do a lot of blonde melding, a lot of blondes, yeah. and stuff like that. So you figure that's the most, the biggest part of your clientele now, huh? Um, yes, I do an average of. I would like to say 13 platinum blondes a week, probably. That's pretty awesome. Maybe more than that. At least one a day. There's there there is a blonde in my chair once wow. a day. So on the consultation, you know, because obviously they're getting to you through Instagram. Mm -hmm. So do you do a pre-consult before you even meet them? Yeah, most of the okay. time. I would love to do that, uh, especially in person. But I do do it over. Um, the internet, which is very hard, but I have a way that helps me. I ask them to send me photos. I have questions that I set up for them, right. asking about their past, you know, hair, life, sure. everything like that. Um, but if it works and it's convenient, I would much rather them take a step into my um, chair just for a second. Ten minutes is all Do I really need. you ever get a surprise when what they tell you through the internet and then when you see them in person, have you ever got any big surprises? I get a lot of surprises, but the awesome thing is, is I work with this brand called Formula 18. So it's okay. And so I'm always pretty good. You're pretty good, yeah. I'm you got pretty, pretty good. good confidence. Yeah. So, what does your mom think about all this? Because I know I've met your mom, and she's had a salon a long time. Yeah. Because she's pretty proud of you. I've grown so quickly. Um, I would like to say my mom is probably extremely proud of me, just yeah. because I'm only 24 and I'm doing everything that she was doing. She was a platform stylist. She worked for Helene Curtis and oh, wow. KMS, so she did all of this. So yeah. I'm following her footsteps. So. I would like to think that I'm making her proud. Yeah, it's really fun. You're having a great time. Yeah, oh, now, I, love, I love my Palmdale job. you're up in Palmdale area, obviously. I am currently located in the Antelope Valley. Okay. I like to call it that because okay. it sounds a little bit better than Palmdale. All right, all right. Um, but I am slowly working my way up a little bit more south. I oh, okay. am going to be working in Santa Clarita Valley pretty oh, wow. soon. Okay. Yeah, so, so right now I'm full-time Palmdale, but I am going to be 
working my way out. So you're expanding, huh? Yes. I'm going to be doing two days in Santa Clarita, probably starting next month. Wonderful. So if people want to get a hold of you, find out your schedule, they can just go on your Instagram. Is that the yes. best way to do it? Yeah, best right. way. My cell phone's connected that way, oh, too. Oh, it's as it should be, right? Yep. So I think we have about 10 pictures today. All right. And I'm going to break those suckers down, all right? Cool. And see what you're going, see what you're doing. And we'll talk about let's check maybe them some out. trends coming forward, what your opinion of what's coming on as trends and all. But let's look at these right now sure. see what we got. So let's look at the first one. Oh, wow, that's pretty cool. Yeah. So tell us about this one. This is my lovely friend, Brittany. She is a crazy free spirit, so she lets me do whatever I want to do to her hair. So with this one, she actually showed me a photo of red hair, and her hair is naturally probably a level four. She's Hispanic, so she lifts red very easily. Yes. Um, but all of her hair was solid, like four all over. So I said, girl, let's start from the bottom up and we lifted and it pulled so bright copper and we just worked with it. Yeah. Um, and right after it lifted, I used uh, F18's copper toning shampoo okay. on the ends and that really just brought out that pop. But when I did her base, we did a violet brown. So when I pulled it down, I melted it into the lightener a little bit and that's what gave us that like, great transition. reddish transition. Yeah, I love the transition from, you wouldn't think of going from dark to a copper because it's too harsh. Yeah, I know. But, but with pulling the purples in, it really made it work. Yeah, I love the blend on that one. That one was one of my favorites. That was a lot of yeah, fun. Yeah, very doing. beautiful. I love it. Thank you. Right on. You guys are still friends, obviously. Yep. <laughs> yes, we are. <laughs> I haven't seen her in a little while, though. Call hey, me Brittany. Hey, what's up? Yeah, call her. Call me Brittany. <laughs> okay, so what do we have next? What's coming up next? Oh, Ooh. hello. This is Lizzie. Yeah, look at that, boy. All right, she was like, girl, I wanna be silver. And so I just whipped up a concoction. Yeah, it's gorgeous. <laughs> so now, here's the thing. You know, I get a lot of people in here, mm -hmm. for, for everybody working for Pulp Riot to you know what, you know, yeah. people doing hair for 30, 40 years sitting right in that chair. Mm -hmm. So they're all, they're complaining about doing silver because they say they just don't like to do it because it fades out so quickly. So what's your opinion of that? Um, silver does fade out, but if you're a hundred percent honest with your client from the start, there should be no problem at all in going with a color that's going to fade. If you're telling them right away, hey, this is going to be something that you have to have high maintenance with this is something you're gonna have to work with at home then there should and be no problem silver for sure is yeah one of those kind of colors it's definitely something you need to take home and you have to have a conditioning uh, like tone a toning conditioner or something, something like yeah, that absolutely. you know for sure it's definitely high maintenance well we're bringing out a uh, new product that you don't know about yet but it's gonna probably solve that problem for everybody well, perfect. Yeah, like a shampoo that doesn't actually strip vivids. Oh, yeah, and awesome. A I'll give you some. Awesome, awesome. So pretty coming soon. So we got a question here, and it says, what's your favorite silver formulation or color brand for silver? What do you like? Um, okay, my favorite silver formulation. I am a Wella girl and Pravana girl. I love Pravana, and a lot of people I feel like are afraid of Pravana because a lot of the time it is very green. But if you know color theory and you know how to work color manipulation, then you should be able to do anything. Um, so I feel like Pravana is super, super, super easy to achieve these silvery tones with. Okay. Um, I like to stick with a lot of violet-based uh, colors. I go with a lot of the pearls. Um, one of my all-time favorite silver concoctions would be um, Pravana's Color Lush. It's their liquid line that okay. they have. I mix. 10N with 9V and a little splash of 9B, and it is seriously gorgeous. I yeah, mean, it this, is gorgeous. This is it right here. So that is gorgeous. Yeah, it shows you the the B pops though. So make sure you're you're careful with how much of the B you put in because the yeah. blue is really strong. But that's what gives you can it see that it. hue. You can you can see the B, B a little bit even yeah. in this photo, but it does give it that really kind of gorgeous pop, right? Yeah. Definitely. I love it. Um, so now, I feel like what's really important with silver though too is making sure you leave your toner on long enough because a lot of the time people get scared. They're like, holy crap, it's dark, it's dark, it's dark, it's not going to be silver anymore. And then they go and wash it out and it's perfect. It, no, it's not perfect because they like got scared so they didn't let it, they oh, didn't let it stay. Oh, you mean when they wash their yeah, hair. Yeah, yeah. You got to make sure you let it stay. Even if it looks dark when you dry it, it's not going to be dark. Yeah. Like you got to know if you're working with a level 10, it's a level 10. Yeah. It's not going to be darker than a It's a blank 10. palette. Yeah. Yeah. You know, so put the um, paint that's on my the, little advice. Put the paint on the hair, right? And leave it on there till it, yeah. till it actually does its 10 job. minutes, 10 minutes, especially with that F18 in there. Yep. That's it does grab better. I noticed that. Yeah, shine. it gives it the shine and the integrity. 
Yep. I love it. Wow, that is that is probably one of my favorites right there. Really? I love it. It's good. Well, Ooh. you know, it's cool. It's because you got the green. It pops the yeah. Blue and, the yeah. shirt makes it look yeah. really cool. Okay, so backgrounds. Let's talk since we're looking at backgrounds. Okay. You don't see a lot of those kind of what background is that? It's a little darker. My background is just the wall that's literally right behind my station. Okay. I work at a huge hair salon. We have I think maybe thirty stylists that work at my salon total. Um, and we're pretty crammed in there. I fortunately work next to just one other person and her and I have each other's like patterns down so we make it work but I don't have very much space to take photos with. Okay. My other salon, I had a backdrop. So I just honestly make my little blank area. It's like a tan wall work, but I've got a little circle light so I can oh, bring yeah. it up a bit. Yeah. Circle light. Do yep. you do any outdoor lighting or any natural light? Um, if the timing permits, yes. But if any of you guys know, I live in the Antelope Valley and the Antelope Valley is infamous for its wind. So yes, it is we windy. can't really take photos out there. Okay, so you got it going. Got to keep it inside. That's a got. That's a nice picture. Got to keep out it really inside. Well. All right, what do we have next, guys? Ooh. Ooh, here you go. Now this is the stuff I've been seeing you do a lot of lately. Yeah, this is Emily. She's a personal trainer. She changes her hair all the freaking time. So what I gotta let you guys know about this is her hair was green slash blue slash like pukey looking Ooh. like before this, and I got it looking this so, gorgeous. Uh, <laughs> like, isn't that amazing? Like I just am like honestly like wow like well, that, how did that I do like that? sounds like a mermaid that went through the ringer. <laughs> she, she did and it was I mean it's my fault I'm the one who colored it before but yeah. the way the color faded that we did last time it just was not pretty and that happens you got to let's be real like let's be real. Work like, with what you got. That happens so yes. you got to be able to make sure you can fix it and make it look good because she mm -hmm. deals with people on an everyday basis so. Yeah yeah but I like um so what you did is it looks like to me yeah. On the ends, you darken them up a bit. Um, the, the, the bottom end. half. Yeah. Yeah, the bottom half of That's her hair cool. is a little bit darker. Yes, yeah, so that it made her hair look a, a lot more full. Yes. Um, we really wanted to make sure that we kept the health in her hair also, though, because we were lifting out a lot of greens. So I had to deposit some more color so we could keep all of the protein in there. But um, this is like a little bit of a blend. I like. I would like to say it's a baby light blend. It looks good. So I definitely baby light really at the top. Well. Thank yeah, you. And, and considering what you're starting with, that's amazing. Yeah, it looks really soft. Great job. Okay, what do we have next? Because I know we got 10 today, so that's great. Okay, here you go. Okay, more, of, more of that. Now, this yeah. one you just blasted the ends out, right? Yeah. Did you throw those throw foils on there? How did you do it? What was your technique on that one? Um, her top half of her head was foiled, and every section that was left out, I balayaged, like I hand painted, oh, hand -painted like outside. Okay. So whatever was not covered in foil was painted. Um, but the bottom half of her hair, I just I just freehanded and I just left it out. I used um, the F18 lightener, but we uh, used some Saran wrap just to make sure the moisture yeah. stayed in a yeah. little bit. Yeah, I just blasted it, right? Yeah, she wanted she wants her entire head to be platinum like that, so we're getting there. Yeah, you can get there. We're getting there. You can go there next time. It's gonna take some time. Yeah, yeah. I honestly probably could, but let's yeah. let's wait it out you, a little. You're making her work. Yeah, you gotta make, make her work. For gotta it. make her work for it. Like you know, you have a little doggy, and you're like, come on, come on. Come yeah. On, come on. <laughs> Yeah. You're making her jump. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay. I like it. So what is your favorite tool for balayaging? Do you have a favorite tool? <sighs> or do you use tools? Or your hand, your brush? Your yeah, water? honestly. You honestly, I, I think it's ProCare. I think the brush is ProCare and I got it from Salon Centric. It's probably about this big, so maybe three inches wide, and it's got the feather tip oh, okay. ends. Um I like that I like that brush a lot. I tried the whole paintbrush thing. Didn't was work. not my jam. Okay, I did right. not like it. Uh, I feel like I can get my blend so much better with my fingers. Um, my fingers are bleached the crap out. So you like, don't have I have no, right? I have no fingerprints. I have no feeling in my fingers anymore. But it's worth it because I get that perfect blend. There you go. Look at that. Like I really do go in there with my fingers and I smudge it. I smudge no, it out. No gloves, just fingers. No, well, I mean, I wash my hands right away. Sometimes right. if I'm working like solid, a lot of bleach, I will on. have gloves on yeah. because I'm not going to full on bleach my hands out. But for the most part, I need to feel yeah. the hair. Gotcha. I need That's that. That's what a lot of people say. Yeah, it's yeah. hard. It's hard. Right on. I love it though. Good job. What do you have Thank next? Thank you. Oh, Ooh. here you go. Yeah, this is cool. Oh, this one's really beautiful. This lady is so sweet. 
Um, she is a mom. She's a, a real estate agent, so she is working professionally all okay. the time. Yeah. But she wanted to have a little bit of color and something dimensional to make her hair look like she's stylish too. You know. Did you do this one for the fall? Was this something you did recently? Yeah, this actually it's was a good fall look. This yeah. was very fall inspired. Um, she also has a wedding that she's going to be going to soon, so I kept that in mind. Had to make sure it looked classy. Wanted to keep a lot of the shine in there, though. Yeah, I was a looking ton for that gloss. Shine. Yeah. Yes. So what? I, I did to achieve that shine was honestly just a formula 18 um, yeah, that pops the in. the treatment I did I gave her the standalone treatment after I colored oh, all the water, of her, just the water. yeah after yeah, I colored all of her hair entirely and crazy yeah that gave it that shine like crazy. it's surprising you know you just do three ounces of water half ounce of of the additive and it just crazy shine yeah and especially yeah. if you let it I okay so I let it sit for 10 minutes and then after it's been on for 10 minutes I'll finish it off with the mask yeah that's all so I'll take do. the mask and I'll put the mask yeah. on let it like run it through comb it through probably yeah. and then um, let it sit for maybe a minute and then I'll rinse yeah. it out and it's crazy it's like I know, silk. You know it's like running through doing, your fingers they're taking a, a squirt bottle mixing that up and just using it for their perms and everything just spraying it on as they're working uh, or they spray it on the additive with, yeah, oh, they just genius. do it with water premix and they spray it on the ends. So if they're doing like a balayage and they're going through the ends again, they protect the ends with that. That's smart. So that's been pretty cool. Let a little that's little so technique. smart. Hey, it's unlimited. You can do it. I think I'm going right? to steal that. Oh, yeah. yeah, you are. I think I might steal that idea. There you go. That Love was, it. That was pretty smart. So this lady, she's great. Now, what what's her age range? I mean, because I know you have all Don't age ranges. kill me, Mama Sandra. <laughs> I'm like, oh, she's in her mid 40s. Okay, so that's something that somebody in their mid 40s could do. I think it's hot. Yeah, I like no, it a lot. no, and she looks beautiful. I made the color around the frame of her face darker, yeah. and so it really, really, really played up the level of her skin tone and made her face pop. Like it made her skin look so much brighter. I love it, man. It's really yeah. cool. Like I say, she's I a love that too, person. and I definitely think that women of that age range should be a little bit more playful with their color because the dimension and the lightness really does bring a yep. little bit of youth back into your hair, and it makes your I don't know, bouncy, shiny. Well, the shine yeah. and the texture and everything works. It's I good. love it. Okay, so we have so next. Good. Ooh, Ooh, hello. This is Ashley. Ooh, that's awesome. This is Ashley. She is so freaking cute. Um, she told me that she wanted to be copper, and I got so excited. Um, we did a level six uh, red base, mm -hmm. so you can't really see it too much here because of the shadow. But um, I just pulled it out and melted it with lightener on the end. So literally, yeah. like, I brought the color down and I pushed the lightener right into it and just melted everything. And at the bowl, emulsified all of it so that red just got everywhere. And then um, shampooed it a little bit with the copper shampoo. That's nice. And just that tone is what we were left with. I didn't toner or anything. Did it was you, just what did she start on with? She looks pretty dark on the on the top. What, um, what her talk her top is not dark. I don't it's know why dark. it looks it's so dark in this photo. In photo. Yeah, she's a level six. Like, oh wow. Yeah, okay. it's there it's actually six dot six six from Pravana, and it's bright red, like I a love bright it. bright bright red. Yeah. That's super creative. Yeah. Now, what's her age range for something like that? She is 21, so, okay, so she's she young. Can pull it off, no yeah, problem. she's young, um, but she does work for her, I think Edwards Air Force Base. Oh. So I was pretty sh like shocked that yeah. she was allowed to have her hair like that. But she said that sh she she's fine. But you know that tone could be pulled off by someone even older because yeah. it's not too far out of the range. You know, I mean, it's really nice. Yeah, it was, it was, it's, it's a lot more eccentric outside in the sun and inside in daylight, it looks a little muted. So yeah. it's, it's pretty cool. Another question. Okay. The question is, um, how do you recommend your clients to maintain the fun colors you do? How do you, how do you recommend? What do you, that's what it said. How do you recommend? But I said, probably what do you recommend, right? Um, yeah, I mean, I just let them know that their shampoo needs to be paraben sulfate free. I always recommend them to buy Enjoy just because yeah. it's great everyday use right. shampoo and it protects the color. I use yeah. it myself and I know that my color lasts Keep that forever. Yeah. yeah. Um, I just recolored my hair after four months. Yeah, because this is all new. Yeah, but night. it was still purple. Like it was yeah. just too, like faded to like a maybe yeah, like lavender good. before, and so four months of like a color that's pretty freaking. Now, do awesome. you have extensions in, or is that your all your? It's, it's a my hair. Bit of extension going it's on. It's my hair. Hey, I paid for it. It's mine. It's right? mine. Yeah. <laughs> what are you talking about? You don't like ask it. that, Patrick. <laughs> hey, you can on the hair show. Is your beard real? <laughs> no. <laughs> I just put some. This is you all don't white. Call me I'm out. I'll call you out. I'm trying, you know, but it will be today after I color it. This is just pencil, man. <laughs> I'm trying to get the look, man. But there's hair, look. There's a little hair. All right, it's yeah. real, it's real. Yeah, it's, it's, there, real it's, it's real, it's real. It's just white, because I'm old. <laughs> Damn it. <laughs> it's 
what hair color is all about, right? <laughs> Damn. All right. So what do we got next? <laughs> Sorry, I'm crying. Yeah, you know. <sighs> oh, yay. Oh, hello. Come we love Daddy. this, this one. This is a good one. We love this one. Yeah, this we is did. a good one. <laughs> this is a good one. This. Uh, is that a wig? <laughs> <laughs> yes, it's not even real. I didn't no. even do this. No. So good, good wig just, work. <laughs> just kidding. Just kidding. Um, this was. It looks so shiny that it looks almost fake, right? Well, honestly, awesome. I use that to describe the way your hair feels after working with Formula 18. And I'm sorry, like to everyone that's watching this, if you feel like I'm trying to sell you, I just love the product so much. I it. But well, makes you a better hairdresser. It's a good tool. It um, yeah, it yeah. really it really 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 does. So she was a level six before all of this. Wow. Okay. Um, her hair color was not, um, virgin though, so it was a lot easier to work with. She showed me a photo of something silvery, but she said. I trust you and I trust whatever you want to do. So mm -hmm. you do you and I know it'll look good. And so I just really heavy weaved her. Yeah. Um, baby light back to back, 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 back. That was back. some work. Yeah. How many um, hours was that day? I think honestly she was just three and a half. Not bad, huh? Yeah, which wasn't too so you bad. Heavy, just heavy foiled her, huh? Yeah, so the, yeah, the heavy foiling and then got to rinse them out in sections obviously so yeah. there's no breakage and um, what we did to pull the color through with this, this was uh, steel blue and ice from Blonde Me, Looking Schwarzkopf. Good. Looking good. Yeah, and obviously added in some F18 into that so that yeah, got the shine. brought in that shine, sealed it down with the mask and everything, and that's what we got, what we got man. Yeah, and you're just throwing it up right against your wall, right where you're sitting. Yep. You're just making things happen. Yeah, and the was wall that your is ring tan. Light? Was that your ring light? Yeah. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Always got to have the ring light in there because that also captures that shine so much better. Right on. I Gave it a it. couple curls, make that dimension pop. Yeah, it's looking good, looking good. And yeah. she was pretty happy, huh? Yeah, she loved it. She, I think her exact words were like, oh my gosh, I have Pinterest model hair. Yeah, you do. Yeah. <laughs> now, now, something like that, um, when she's walking out in the, in the general public, that's getting you a lot of referrals, right? For sure. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Um, a lot of my silvers get me the referrals, but honestly, it's my blondes on my day-to-day -day basis that yeah, are bringing that's, people that's in. Yeah, that's more th like, you know, you do one silver, you do 50 blondes. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. Because there's a difference between a good-looking blonde and a healthy-looking blonde, and that's why I hashtag my photos a lot of the time, like, save your hair, because I am making you blonde, but I'm also saving your yes. blonde hair and making yes. it not only blonder, but feeling healthier at the Absolutely. same time. Absolutely, that's the key. Yeah. It really is. Yeah. It, it's very important. What do we have next, Steven? Oh, going Ooh. back to some reds. I like that. Yes. So, so now, wait, I got to ask you because I'll forget. You see her, sh is that a shadow root that you did on purpose? Yeah. Okay, go from there. Yeah. I love it. Um, okay, so this is Amanda. She is a server at a sushi restaurant. She's been blonde for forever, and she's wanted to be this red hair color for so long, but she thought that it wouldn't look good on her skin tone because oh, she's great. Asian. And she really? has, she has a, yeah, she's, she's, she's mixed, but she has like a fair skin tone. Yeah. So she was thinking that it wouldn't look good on her fair skin, yeah. but did she know? She looks yeah. amazing. Um, we ended up doing a level 7.42 from Pravana on her base, and I pulled a 7C all the way through her end. So this is just seven copper, shampooed her with the copper toning shampoo from it. F18. And I, I wish we had one to sell to them. Yeah, well, we will soon. Because more than likely. She needs that. Yep, exactly. <laughs> she needs that for her at home maintenance. Yeah, exactly. But yeah, that shine, I mean, it's, that, it's undeniable. It's Crazy so stuff. beautiful. Well, like I say, in general, we're bringing out a shampoo that is just going to be neutral. Cool. But it can't strip color. In fact, we took our direct eyes, mm -hmm. 20 washings, scalding hot water, uh, the hottest uh, blow dryer we could do, the hottest flat iron we could do, 20 times. Zero fadeage. Wow. We'll show it to you after this. Wow. Yeah, so get ready. That's awesome. So, you know, I, this is kind of hard. Just rinse it with cold water and ice water, and it's tough, you yeah, know? Yeah, I just tell them, honestly, the colder the water, the better, for sure. Yeah. And I also let them know about perfume. A lot of girls do not know that. I'm yeah, like, don't spray your hair with your perfume and go and straighten your hair afterwards or curl flammable. your hair afterwards. Yes. yes, it's flammable, but two, you don't realize you're pulling your color out of your hair. I, I know none of you guys know that, but you are. Yep. <laughs> you yeah, all are well, doing it's alcohol. that. Per perfumes are alcohol based. Yeah, so there you go. Exactly. Absolutely. So they're just sucking it right out. Yep. Well, we're going to have something that we don't have to use ice cold water anymore. It might be kind of nice. That would be really nice. Yeah, coming out soon. It's called Color Keeper, so I'll get Perfect. you some right away. Perfect. All right, that's beautiful, by the way. Thank you. And what do we have next? Oh, Ooh, this is a pretty ombre. Yeah. 
This so where did she pretty. start out? On, on, what's her base, like her natural base? Her natural base was probably like a 5N, but okay. she was a virgin and she had highlights, but they were pulled through a shower cap. So I'm sure you guys could imagine what they looked like. Oh yeah. They were very stringy yes. and yellow and not cute at all. And she's like, I showed this girl a picture of an ombre and this is what I got. And I was like, what? Damn. Well, I like how you like took and took the dark through it and even tipped the ends with it again. Yep. I like that signature. Yep. That's really nice. It's almost like a calico cat look. Yeah. Which is, but real, real fashionable. Okay. Thank you. It. Uh, yeah. It's like some low lights. Yeah, I know, but not a lot of people are doing that. Ashley's waving you. I know, because she, she, we have a question. Okay. But I could ignore her, <laughs> but I won't. So what do you got here? Can't ignore my people. No. Oh, okay. Oh. A lot of people ask this. Oh. This is like, I think maybe, is that a real question? It is a real question? Sort of? This has been coming up on everything, and I guess it's because it's trending. Okay. Is, do you offer shadowing? You know, where people could come in and watch you work. Oh. Have you done that? Sure. Yeah? Yeah. So if they want a shadow? Yeah, I am, I'm the most open sharing person you'll ever meet. Like yep. if there's anything that I do and you want to know about it, ask me. Good. I will never hide or keep anything to myself because I feel like education is key in this industry well, and we are always, always, always open to learning more and more and more and more. Cool. One of the things I wish I could change in this hair industry is, is that whole factor. Oh, trust me. I can't stand that. I can't stand that. Well, that's that. why I did this show because I wanted to be channel neutral. I bring in people from all different companies, whatever, and I don't care. Yeah. I just want people to learn. Man. Exactly, and share everything right. you know because you got here somehow. Yeah. Who taught you? Yeah. So why not teach other people and yeah. learn on the way? And if it's cool, you could try it. If it doesn't work for you, then good. Exactly. Try something else, right? Exactly. Be so open. yes. So yeah. yes. Come shadow. So shadowing, me. if you want to get a hold of her, go to her Instagram. Yeah. Direct uh, message me. DM her, right? Direct yeah. message me. I got to talk to Joy at my salon and make sure she's okay cool with, with that. It, yeah. But if she's okay with it, I'm okay with it too. Good. So you heard it there. So Savannah's open. And this is some cute, cute stuff. And don't, cute? don't just. What? Cute stuff. <laughs> and uh, so don't just, don't just DM Ooh. her just so you could hook up with her. Oh, no. I have a boyfriend, yeah, guys. So there you go. I was just Sorry. Gonna, I was wondering how I was going to say that. Sorry. Yeah. Sorry, so, guys. So, you know, I mean, you know, she's cute and everything and she does really good work, but. You know, this is not like a dating service. No. So it's, if you're really serious <laughs> no, about learning, yes. right? Yes. Yeah. If you want to learn hair, hit me up. There you you go. want to take me on a date? Sorry. Sorry. Take sorry. <laughs> there you go. Well, let's see what we have next. Ooh. Whoa, this is kind of cool. This is good. So is that the girl that, you know, you dyed her red? Is what? That, is that her? I dyed her red? Yeah, the Auburn one? Or no, that's, that's somebody no, else. No, 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 no. Yeah, no. She, uh, this is, um, this is. It's a similar is... cut. Is this Ashley? Yeah, I think so this is. I think this is another Ashley. Okay. Another I have Ashley. a lot of Ashley clients. I'm pretty sure that this is Ashley. Ashley, though. Be, girls named Ashley are pretty popular. Yeah, and they're pretty blonde too. Yeah, they are. They're, they make great blonde. Yeah. So um, tell us about this lady. She is a. Um, I wanted to say something bad. I was going to say a bad word, but I'm not oh, going okay. to. She's obsessed with bleach. So oh, okay. let's just say that she's addicted. Yes. So every time she comes in, she says, I want to be blonder. And so I'm like, okay, let's bleach these pieces that we can't, that are okay. I don't even know. You know, I just go, I go for a different attack of madness on her head every single time I see her. What's her base color? Um, What's her natural? Her natural color is probably like a level seven. Oh, well, she's okay. Then. Yeah, she's. Yeah, you can work with. Yeah, that. she's not too dark, so she lifts really easy. But we put bleach on her roots, so she's completely bleached out in her entire head. She's down to the ground. Yeah, she's completely bleached out. What do you use on that? You twenty? You throw in twenty on the scalp, or what are you doing? Nah, she does. Uh, we do thirty on her because her okay. roots are super stubborn. So okay. we do thirty band it with some cotton so that there's no overlapping Zach Platinum Perfection taught yeah, me yeah. that one. That's a good one. Um, okay, and then I always just keep a conditioning bottle handy so I'll like spray the hair underneath it with conditioner now to protect it. But now I can use water. F18. Yeah. Yeah. That's what Mona does in Hawaii. That's she, smart. She bleaches all the Asians up from like level one and she hammers hard yeah. and no problems. That's yeah. awesome. So yeah, good technique. That's okay, awesome. we got another question here. How often do you require your blondes to come for their touch-ups? That's um, a good question, actually. Well, I always let them know about their keratin band. Yeah. 
Um, so I make it very, very, very stern to let them know that it's going to be more expensive for them, harder for me, the longer that they wait to come in. So yeah. I always suggest three and a half to four weeks between blonding right. services. Well, the problem is, is that when they go beyond that, you're looking at a corrective color situation yep. and a really strong banding potential. Yep. So, you and know. in order to maintain that beautiful blonde, you got to know it's going to be a little pricey. So that's right. You don't be blonde if you can't afford it. That's right. I love that. <laughs> what do we have next, Stephen? Okay, oh, what is cute. this? This is different. What do you got? This is a color melt. Oh, this is cool. Um, she is super fun, really cute, mid-20s, early 30s, uh, works in an office, wants to have something that makes her feel like she is a little sassy. Sassy. Um, sassy, but also, yeah, classy. Yeah, sassy, exactly, but also professional at the yeah. same time. Um, uh, the shine was really a big factor for us. Her hair was very dull when she came to me, so she said she really just wanted to see her hair looking vibrant and healthy again. So mm -hmm. we hooked her up with a violet-based brown, mm -hmm. and I just, like I said earlier, just melted that in with the lightener, just mush it all together. The transition, you just blend it all up and in and out. You know what? Tell us about the cut on this one, because that's a pretty cool cut. Um, Is that like a modified bob you did? Yeah, it's so. a little bit shorter in the back. Uh, it looks like her bang is shorter, but that's just because she likes her hair parted so far over to the okay. side. So her bang on that side is just always kind of lifted. But she kind of has a little bit of like an A-line going on. Yeah, kind of like a chop look, and yeah. then you just texturize the ends. Yep. Uh, did a lot of texturing and a lot of razoring, because she also had very, very, very thick Yeah, hair. that's coming in again, that bob, like the, you know, the longer bob with yeah. a lot of texture. The PC like yeah. uh, like doesn't even connect. Yeah, yeah, a lot of people are wanting to see texture and I'm like, okay, but it's not gonna be even. You're okay with that. Yes, I'm okay with that. Then yeah. we're good to go. It's kind of a hot look. Oh, yeah. you got another question. I like it. I do too. I think it's a great trend. Yeah, I like it a lot. Um, what is your favorite current hair trend? Oh, speaking of trends. And what do you see as the next big trend? Or does everything go now? My current favorite hair trend. Yeah. Silver hair, no, I'm just kidding. No, I really like the mauves, like those mauvey, like like the yeah. the hair colors. That's like my shirt, actually, like this color. Like yeah. I love that, guy, and I feel like Guy Tang does a lot of that. Yeah. Um, kind of the mo modified mochas. Yeah, yeah, they're, cool. yeah, they're like icy mochas. Icy oh, mochas, they're yep. so pretty. I love those. Um, what do I think is gonna come next? Cut oh, color man. style, anything. Um, I know it's coming next. See this thing I'm growing right here. That's coming next. A goatee? Just so you know. What is this? A chin strap. <laughs> a chin strap. A chin strap. Yeah. <laughs> I was going to call it the Gemini. All right, let's get it. To. I got one going on. There We're you good. Go. <laughs> We're good. <laughs> no, I don't know. I don't know what's coming coming on. I mean, honestly, the trends are so different. They catch, yeah. catch you off guard all the yeah. time, you know? I Honestly, if you asked me like a year ago if I would think that my hair would be purple right now, I probably would say, yeah, right, I love being blonde. Right. You know, it's just everything goes and comes as the way people feel. So, so Vivids, I think, are, they're here now. I mean, they went, they had a run one time, they died out with the hair feathers. Yeah. And then now they're back. Yeah. You know, and I think now that we have so much variety and we do it differently. Yeah, definitely. It doesn't look so clowny or Exactly. Uniform. There's a way of making yes. it, it done that looks professional yes. and nice Like what still you got going time. on is really nice. Thank you. Yeah, Thank it's you. very nice. I get a crap load of compliments oh, on my hair yeah, it's great. all the time. So, and everyone tells me, this is you. And I'm like, I know. So. It's great. We'll keep it. Yeah, we'll keep it. I definitely we'll keep it. Yeah. I, 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 I'd let you know. I'm pretty honest about Thank stuff. you. Thanks, So Pat. I love the cut. Love everything. What do we got next? Oh, we're done. That's it. We're done. We're done. We are done. That's tan and done. Woo. But good job. That was easy. So, like I say, you know, you're going to do some moving around. You're going to start expanding your territory. What, yes. what do you, as far as your Instagram, what do you see the future of what you're going to be doing with Instagram? Um, I honestly just want to get a little bit more education out there. I am really, really, really loving um, what I'm doing and teaching, how I'm cool. um kind of just progressing as a stylist. I'm very, very, like I said, open with everything that I do. So I feel like every class that I teach myself as a stylist transitions and it's just like a big growing season yes. for me. So I just really want to share that with everyone. Um, as far as my Instagram, I mean, just keep in tune with me and watch me and see where I'm at. Yeah. I would love to do some collaborations with people. So if anyone yeah, is good. interested in Throw doing something there, like that, yeah. yeah, definitely hit me up. I will travel to you. Yeah, me and my girl, got my girl here too. Right she on. does she does hair also. So oh, right on. yeah, I, I hang out with hairstylists, you know? Yeah. So you do hair and you want to collaborate? Hit me up. 
Heard it here first. Yeah. And if you want to see more, you know where to go. It's a Savannah Ray uh, Hair. Yeah. And uh, you guys, anytime you want to see these shows, I think I would recommend going to YouTube, go into Heritage of Power, right? Subscribe, and then when you want to watch it, we'll send it to you when there's a new one. Oh, that yeah. way they know. Perfect. And it's like all different stuff, you guys, from Alan Bush to Savannah to you name it. They're all here, and uh, yeah. it's just you know sharing and caring and making the industry better, right? Yep. That's what we're trying to do. One step at a time. Right on, blow it up. There you go. We'll see you next time. Peace out.